The speed of an object can be calculated using the following equation. Speed equals distance divided by time. The units for speed are meters per second, or m slash s. The units for distance are meters, m, and the units for time are seconds, s. You can also rearrange this equation to calculate distance. Distance equals speed times time. Or you can rearrange it to calculate time. Time equals distance divided by speed. So we can use these equations to calculate the speed of an object, how far it's travelled, or the time it took to travel a particular distance. Let's look at some examples. This first question says calculate the speed of a parrot that flies 50 metres in 10 seconds. So we use our equation speed equals distance divided by time and then we put our numbers in for distance and time. So the speed would equal 50 metres divided by 10 seconds. So the speed of the parrot would be 5 metres per second. This next question says calculate the average speed of a dinosaur that runs 1.2 kilometres in one minute. We use the equation speed equals distance divided by time again. But first of all, we have to convert kilometres into metres. There are a thousand metres in one kilometre. So if we times 1.2 kilometres by a thousand, we'll get it in the correct units. So we have 1,200 metres. Similarly, we need to change minutes into seconds. So one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So to calculate the speed of our dinosaur, we would need to do 1200 meters divided by 60 seconds. And the speed would be 20 meters per second. In this question, a bee flies at a speed of 10 meters per second for 40 seconds. How far does it travel? So this time we're given speed and time and we need to work out distance. So we need to use the equation distance equals speed times time. Our units are correct, so we don't need to change any. So we would put the numbers in 10 meters per second multiplied by 40 seconds. So our distance would be 400 meters. This last question says, a helicopter flies at a speed of 75 meters per second. How long would it take to travel 15 kilometers? So this time we have a speed and a distance and we need to work out time. So we would use the equation time equals distance divided by speed. We would first need to convert the 15 kilometers to meters. So if we multiply 15 by a thousand, that will give us 15,000 meters. We then put the numbers in the equation. So distance divided by speed so 15,000 metres divided by 75 metres per second will give us a time of 200 seconds. There are two different types of speed. There are average speed and instantaneous speed. Average speed is calculated by dividing the total distance travelled by an object by the total time taken. Average speed takes into account that the object may not have a constant speed and might speed up or slow down along its journey. For example, if you were walking to school, you might walk very fast at the beginning of your journey, and then perhaps if you met a friend, you might walk a lot slower whilst you're chatting on your last part of the journey towards school. When you're calculating your speed for that journey, we would describe this as your average speed, because you might be going faster and slower at different points in your journey so this averages out if you do the total distance divided by the total time taken. Instantaneous speed is the speed of an object at one specific point in its journey. A speedometer in a car tells the driver their instantaneous speed. So when drivers are travelling along in their cars, they can see their instantaneous speed at that specific point in their journey. Some typical speeds that you need to be aware of. The typical speed of somebody walking is 1.5 meters per second. Somebody running is three meters per second. If you are cycling, this increases to six meters per second. In a car, 
you might be travelling at perhaps 25 metres per second. A train will typically travel at 55 metres per second and in a plane you'll be going much faster at around 250 metres per second. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.